Well, just as former President Trump gets ready for his trial on allegedly falsifying business records, his former vice president agrees to testify in an investigation on Mr. Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Jasmine Payut joins us now with Mr. Pence's decision not to appeal the judge's order. Morning, Jasmine. Good morning, Jim. This is a pretty big deal. A former vice president has never before complied with the criminal probe. All of this comes just a day after the former president pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts in a Manhattan courtroom. To be clear, this is a completely different case and investigation. Now, this is all about efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. Pence's testimony could offer investigators a first-hand account of whether Trump pressured him to take part in it and what role the former president played, if any, on January 6th. Pence has said that Trump endangered his family and everyone else at the Capitol that day. One of his advisors says the former vice president could testify before a federal grand jury within weeks. CBS News spoke with a former federal prosecutor who says this is a major development. This is an earthquake and not a small earthquake. When the mobs were attacking the Capitol, trying to stop the election, uh, what did the president tell Vice President Pence, if anything, before, during, after? Now, we still don't have an exact date for when this will happen, and Pence may not be the only one. An appeals court ruled that a host of other Trump officials must also testify, including his former chief of staff, Mark Meadows. Jim, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Jasmine.